gentle, intelligent, and easy to handle. Alpacas provide endless delight and healthy returns. The aristocrats of all farm animals, alpacas have a long and noble lineage. They come from the South American branch of the camelid family and have been domesticated for some 3,000 years. They are related to the llama and the much rarer vicuna and guanaco. The llama is larger and heavier and as a pack animal is known as the ship of the Andes. The wild vicuna is smaller and lighter like the alpaca, it produces a valuable fiber. Fully grown, an alpaca weighs up to 70 kilograms and stands about 80 to 90 centimeters at the shoulder. Alpaca wool was prized by the civilizations of the high Andean plateau. Long before the arrival of the Spanish conquistadors, a cult had grown around the animals and the fine textiles produced from their fleece. When these civilizations crumbled, alpaca farming fell into the hands of peasant communities who still account for over 80% of the world's alpaca farming. Even now, much South American husbandry remains poor and primitive. In the harsh conditions, birth rates are low and the fibre-producing alpaca also provides hide and meat. Alpaca numbers worldwide are limited, with perhaps 1.5 million in Peru, half a million in Bolivia, and a mere 50,000 in all of Chile and Argentina. The alpaca industry is concentrated in the Altiplano, the high altitude regions of southern Peru and Bolivia, where burning sun in the day turns to sub-zero temperatures most nights of the year. Survival in these harsh conditions says much for the alpaca's hardiness and the exceptional insulation qualities of its wool. Yet the adaptable alpaca does well in a wide variety of temperate Australian and New Zealand conditions. Our animal expertise, good husbandry and improved breeding practices have already produced superior young and greatly improved birth rates. There are two types of alpaca, the suri and the hardia, hakaya. The suri type is less numerous and scarcely to be found at all outside of South America. Australia's animals are of the Hakaya variety and originate from Chile, the only South American country with acceptable animal health standards. Even so, animals landed here are subject to stringent health and fitness checks. Furthermore, the South American industry is increasingly reluctant to let animals leave. At present, the Australian alpaca industry is a breeding-based one. Long term, the aim of the industry is the production of fine fibre. Look at any herd and you'll see that alpaca fibre comes in an extraordinary variety of colours. From pure white through fawn to a range of browns and a true jet black. Colours then shade out in greys from steel to pale silver to a pinky rose grey. Piebald animals also occur and are much prized by some owners as fancies. Virtually kemp free and with a slight crimp, alpaca fibre has a cellular structure akin to hair. Yet it is classed as a wool. It has three times the tensile strength and wear resistance of merino wool. Prized for its unique silky feel and superb handle, it is always keenly sought after by the textile makers of Britain, Europe and Japan.
As the Australian herd grows, our fibre expertise and pooling of the local clip will see us well placed for the future in a market where supply seldom keeps up with demand. Alpaca are generally shorn annually. They can be shorn standing at halter, but more typically are shorn laid down, with feet restrained. This well-proven method may look uncomfortable, but assures the safety of a strong and agile animal. While normal sheep shearing equipment can be used, it should be run carefully. It's easy to run into overheating because alpaca wool is virtually grease-free. In hot climates, it's advisable to leave some fleece along the backbone to protect the exposed ridge from sunburn. Annual yield is around three kilograms from a female and over five from the male. Creole wool, the first clip from any young alpaca, commands a premium for its extra fine softness. Used undyed, alpaca wool can be made into garments of beautiful natural colors and shadings. Where required, it is readily dyed and is sometimes mixed with sheep wool, polyester or silk. The results are superb handling, lightweight fabrics that are exceptional in their shape keeping, wear resistance and thermal properties. Alpacas are ruminants and need no special diet. Exceptionally efficient as converters of rough fodder, they are grazers and browsers and will pick daintily rather than raising all in their path. In winter and in the last stages of pregnancy, supplementary feeding may be necessary and alpaca take readily to good quality hay, low protein pellets or horse muesli, a very good encourager or reward. Alpaca are stress resistant and load and travel calmly whether they're in open crates or covered floats. Their first instinct is intelligent curiosity and they herd and master with exceptional ease. Although in this instance they've been unable to resist the lure of water and a chance to graze on waterweed. Come on, girls, we haven't got all day. Alpaca require no special fencing. 1.2 metre high, five strand sheep fencing being entirely adequate. Younger animals are easily halter broken in few lessons. All alpacas have the intelligence to reward individual handling handsomely. Maintenance is very simple. They have toenails which on soft ground may occasionally need to be trimmed. Note the padded foot, which makes the alpaca easy on even the most delicate landforms. Foot problems are rare. On some mature animals, front teeth may grow to require occasional trimming. Vaccination and drenching is as for sheep. Being clean skinned under the belly and about the tail, alpaca do not require crutching, dagging, tail docking or mulesing. 
and tend to remain free of lice infestation and blowfly strike. The alpaca has the habit of dunging in fixed areas and avoids grazing around these. Thus, parasite infestation is invariably low to non-existent. The firm dry pallet produced has a high fertiliser value. Natural survival of the alpaca in its homeland is not high. Our husbandry and conditions make possible birth rates in excess of 90% and a productive life of around 20 years. The courtship ritual of alpacas is very distinctive. In selective breeding, the male is put with a female in a small enclosure and chases her. If she's open, she'll eventually sit and allow herself to be mated. The male's characteristic warble and the act of coitus, which can last up to an hour, induce ovulation. Fertilization can occur up to 26 hours after the mating, so to increase the chance of conception, the same pair will be rejoined the following day. In subsequent presentations, the female will reject the male if she is pregnant, and the pregnancy may be confirmed by a simple progesterone assay. Alpaca do not have seasonal oestrus and may breed at any time of the year. Females can be joined from around 14 months and young males mature between two and three years. Although field matings are possible, it's preferable to observe matings to verify effectiveness. Matings are recorded so that birth dates can be predicted and parentage established in Australia's International Alpaca Registry. While it is usual to join light-coloured animals, colour inheritability is still a matter of intense study. It may take many generations of controlled breeding before this little understood subject becomes a more exact science. In breeding for confirmation, fibre quality and coverage, the way to herd improvement is through carefully selected stud males. Gestation is 11 and a half months and birthing is remarkably quick and trouble free. Alpaca produce a single offspring and always give birth in daylight hours. Two weeks later, the female is ready to be bred again. Thus, she will spend most of her productive life pregnant, which is less arduous than it sounds, thanks to the fetus remaining small for most of the gestation. Alpacas are devoted and protective mothers and mothering up is easy. The baby alpaca, or crea, will suckle from its mother until weaning at about five months. Whoops, wrong mum. Where is she? Ah, there she is. The weaned crea is known as a tui. Incidentally, the adult males are known as machos and the females as hembras. Australia's young alpaca industry will be a breeding-based one for many years to come. This is because of small numbers, a slow reproduction rate and strictly limited exports from South America. Confirmation of this new breed's ready acceptance in Australia is the establishment of the breed as a show class. Enthusiasm on the part of Royal Agricultural Societies and owners alike has thrust alpacas into the exhibition limelight. Sales of the animal are usually off the farm, but in late 1991, Dalgetty Farmers held Australia's first alpaca auction. The auction attracted exceptional interest. A 
fashion show of alpaca garments was a taster for the nearly half million dollar event. Keen interest and spirited bidding confirmed the high prices now being asked and paid for these most beautiful and aristocratic of farm animals. Demand for animals is high, here, in the US, the UK and Europe. Prices in the US are almost double the Australian level. Alpacas have spread fast across the farmscape of Australia. Owners range from hobby farmers to agricultural venture companies. Others are traditional farmers on a program of diversification. But all agree, no other farm animal can equal the alpaca in offering the prospect of sound returns from easily managed numbers on small acreages. What unites every owner is the delight of owning animals that are intelligent, charming and beautiful. The producers of Australia's fibre of the future, alpacas. They're the world's finest livestock investment. To cater for the needs of a growing industry, the Australian Alpaca Association was formed in 1989. It involves itself in all aspects of animal development and promotion and the optimum marketing of alpaca wool. The association has established a registry of studs and stud animals and conducts regular field days and seminars. It is a valuable source of information and networking for everyone with an interest in alpacas. Keep in touch with what's happening in the alpaca industry. Husbandry, health and sales, practical advice on management and presentation, news and views. It's all in Alpacas Australian Quarterly, the magazine of Australia's most exciting new livestock industry. The Australian Alpaca Association thanks the following organisations for their support of the industry and the making of this program. Why trust your valuable films with just anyone? Leave your film for developing and processing at Fletcher's Photographics, the photographic specialists. They'll develop and print your film on the spot using quality Fuji in-house processing. Plus, with every film developed, you'll receive a free 5 by 7 inch custom enlargement from your favourite negative. Why leave your film with anyone but the experts? Fletcher's Photographics. David Roundtree specialises in livestock insurance. Because he insures nothing but livestock, he understands your alpaca requirements. David's many years of experience go into insurance packages that are both wide-ranging and competitive. Livestock insurance is an important part of a common-sense approach to alpaca management. Keep your broker informed as you acquire new animals or if problems should arise. That way, you ensure that your insurance works the way you want. David Roundtree is available toll-free on 008 251 900. So ring Roundtree. As Australia's leading stock company, Delgetti Farmers are proud to support the Australian alpaca industry. The first Australian alpaca auction was held at Delgetti Farmers' world-class stud stock sales complex at Melbourne's Oaklands Junction. No other sales venue in Australia can match the facilities, amenities and setting of the Oaklands Junction complex. 
the first alpaca classic auction was a complete success and the alpaca classic is now an annual event like you delgetti farmers is committed to the success of australia's newest livestock industry delgetti farmers the professionals in livestock sales Carolyn Young of Stock Air Export specialises in the humane management and movement of valuable livestock. From racehorses to camels, Carolyn is an expert in the safe handling of your animals and in the myriad quarantine and animal health requirements that attend every shipment. Every alpaca and llama moved from here to the USA has gone via Stock Air Export. So if you're moving livestock, whether it's overseas or interstate, call Carolyn. She'll clear a path through the regulatory jungle and take care of the details that will ensure your animals arrive safe, sound and happy. I'm a photographic fanatic. Why trust your valuable films with just anyone? Leave your film for developing and processing at Fletcher's Photographics, the photographic specialists. They'll develop and print your film on the spot using quality Fuji in-house processing. Plus, with every film developed, you'll receive a free 5 by 7 inch custom enlargement from your favourite negative. Why leave your film with anyone but the experts? Fletcher's Photographics.